Hello, this is Joe Canellan from Pipeline FX. I'm going to be showing you through some changes we're making to the Cube interface for version 7. Firstly, we've modularized the interface. Each section is now a panel that can be individually resized and moved around. If you drop one panel over the top of another, the two will dock together and you can switch between them using the tabs. The panel menu can be detached from the main menu and used to quickly select which panels you want visible in your layout. We've added a Python console panel that allows you to access Cube programmatically from within the interface. There is also a log panel that logs progress and errors while using the interface. You can see that we can also rearrange the tab positions when two panels are docked together. The cube interface remembers your layout, so when restarting the interface, everything will be as you left it. We have a number of predefined layouts that you can switch between using the layout menu. You can also save your own layouts. We have also added themes that allow you to change the interface color as well as the appearance of widgets and icons. Please ignore the colors in these particular themes, they're just proof of concept at this stage. A new feature coming in version 7 is our mini job view, which allows you to quickly check the status of jobs from wherever you are on your computer. Cube does not need to be running for the mini job view to work and is activated with a user configurable system wide keyboard shortcut. The filter for the display jobs matches your previously set filter in the main Cube interface. If I double click on a job, the mini job view will open the main Cube interface and select the job. If Cube is already open, it will be brought to the foreground. Any running job now has a tree structure that allows you to see the workers running that job. Version 7 will display additional information and allow you to further drill down into the job. We have made some major changes to the submission interface to make it easier to find and set the desired job parameters. In the top left is a search field that finds parameters and displays them together on a search results page. For example, if I type in name, Q will find any parameter that contains that term in its name, the tooltip, or the name of its page. Of course I can set the parameters directly on the search results page. Down the bottom we have added a preview for the command line that Cube will run. As I change the parameters inside the submission interface, you can see that the command line updates in order to show that change. We can also change the command line directly. The submission interface updates the job parameters to reflect those changes.
We have also made several improvements behind the scenes. For example, jobs with large output locks now load 30 times faster and no longer get truncated at 5 megabytes. We have an improved error and performance reporting system that will take the hassle out of reporting bugs. As always, please let us know any concerns or suggestions you have. Now is a good time for us to integrate them into version 7. Thanks for watching.